everyone welcome back to my channel once again i hope you all are doing really good so today's video is all about how to improve your ielts score so let's start today's video there are four section in ielts language test that is reading writing speaking and listening and in today's video i'll tell you about the reading section how to improve your score in reading so guys reading section of the ielts test can be a little intimidating due to the length of passages but if you know the right strategy then it will be easy for you first is know about the format of ielts reading test so ielts has a unique format so like you need to know how long the test is and what types of question will be asked uh, what skills do you need to answer the questions will you have extra time to transfer your answers or answer sheet so you have to answer all these questions it is do practice as much as you can as we all know practice makes the man perfect so while doing practice make this time enjoyable experience you can sit in the comfort of your room and uh, engross yourself in a book so like someone who's reading is not as much as fun so you can grab any comic book any magazine and uh, reading eventually will help you to increase vocabulary and uh, to learn more things your their their synonyms their antonyms and many more third is develop your reading techniques like there are reading techniques as well so like mainly there are two techniques first is skimming Mainly skimming is that technique of reading in which you read quickly to find the general overview of the passage. Just spend a minute uh, glancing at the titles or uh, headings to identify the general topic. Identifying and underlining the topic sentence will help you to answer the questions. And the second technique is scanning. Scanning is that reading technique in which you can uh, locate the specific keywords or phrase when you have found a keyword reach the uh, surrounding test in detail to find the answer you are looking for. Next come on to the fourth point that is focus on the keywords. Text in the IELTS reading section are packed with lots of new vocabulary and it's very normal it's normal with everyone if you don't understand the meaning of every word you can use consensual clues to guess the meaning of a word that you don't understand what really matters are the keywords read the question carefully and underline the keywords try to predict what words or phrases will help you to locate the right right part of the text that means the right answer fifth strategy is read the instructions carefully it's very important to you to read the instructions whether it's reading test uh, writing or listening on every first page of your ielts paper there are instructions and you have to read them thoroughly so if the instruction states that in this passage or in this question you have to use only one word while giving your answer so only use one word you may uh, lose points if you don't read the instructions carefully and particularly while giving answers careful about the singular and the plural forms of words and also pay attention to the spellings as well this is a very important like even if you know the right answer and your spelling is incorrect then you may lose point sixth point is try to read questions first on this strategy i usually work even in my school days when english paper or we have comprehension something like that so first i read questions then come on to the paragraph or passage so before reading the passage in the reading section take a look at the question uh, take a look at the question first so like since they directly relate to the passage knowing the questions beforehand will help you to know the answers very quickly after reading the passage through the first time return to the questions and reread that this will help you pinpoint which passage which part of the section of the passage you need to pay careful attention seventh point is divide your time evenly between the passages of reading test and reading test asks you to answer the question on three different passages mainly there are three different passages and the time limit is 60 minutes and the recommendation is that you spend 20 minutes on each passage by splitting out splitting your time evenly between the all the three passages and you will give yourself the best chance to uh, success overall the reading section 
there are some other quick tips as well which i like to um, share with you so one is you don't lose point for wrong answers means there is no negative marking in ielts reading test so never leave a blank space if you don't know the answer fill something which is nearer to your imagination or which you think this could be the answer so don't leave blank space because there is no negative marking second is for true and false questions you can write t or f instead of uh, true or false like t r u e or f a l s e instead of writing all these you can just write t r f and all these mentioned in the instruction part as well third is you will be writing the paper in pencil so remember to bring that even eraser as well though they provide you everything uh, to you before your paper starts but still why to take chance so it could be better if you bring everything which whatever needed in your exam i hope through this video i help someone who need some uh, tips some tricks to clear the reading section of the ielts if so press the like button hit the subscribe icon and uh, follow for more if you need any kind of instructions related to canada immigration process or related to anything about canada you can follow me on my instagram channel and till the next video stay tuned and stay happy